Okay, it's a short video. Reality is full of fact. So, I'm reading online. It was mentioned earlier conversation. And I try not to watch the news because it's too depressing. Even though you need to keep abreast of what's going on in your community. But to hear not just one story, of two stories where involve 11 to 13 year old and the one daughter is two sisters is an 11 year old and a 13 year old and then the 13 year old had a friend to spend a night over to hear that the parents woke up to voices screaming that the 13 year old decide to stab the 11 year old sister and her friend that was over at a sleepover then this is in modesto and then there was another one where the girl had a sleepover at her house and because she was watching some kind of movie that she wanted to be a part of or she wanted to feel what it felt like to kill some parents I'm saying this to say, you cannot let your kids sleep at everybody's house. What you think you know, you really don't know. People are not like they used to be. Thieves dress up in a suit and tie and snatch purses all day long. Thieves dress up in a nice dress, a pair of slacks and a shirt and pickpocket all day long. You do not know what that household is like. And now it makes sense that when I was coming up as a kid, that my mother did not allow us to sleep over anybody's house. Because you see people on the street and crazy don't come packaged in the way you think it should be packaged. Crazy comes from the left or the right. You don't never know that they crazy until they actually snap, crackle, and pop and do some out of pocket. But the sad part is when you have a 13-year-old and a 12-year-old to take it upon themselves just to stab somebody repeatedly and have no remorse about it. Next, some of these parents know some of these kids have head issues. Believe me, plenty of them. But you negate that and then you let all these you let these kids continue to come inside your house where you know it has the potential of turning the wrong direction. I'm saying to you, everybody in every household is not a safe household to let your kids spend the night at. Bottom line. Things can go so terribly wrong. And next I'm going to say is if you as a parent have an instinct about something and somebody asks you something about your kid to do to come to their 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 home and it, it is telling you no 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 you need to listen that could save your child's life because i keep saying this over and over you cannot correct an oops you cannot once the life is gone once the stabbing take place the shooting take place or whatever it may be it is a done deal you understand what I'm saying? So, please, don't take it lightly. People are crazy. Crazy than you think they are. And I'm not saying being paranoid. I'm saying being cautious. Because a lot of this can be avoided. You understand what I'm saying? So much so. So, that's my little tidbit for today. Be safe.